Well, we made it up here to, well, I don't know where the hell we're at, Mount St. Helens somewhere, off of the 503 Spur, I think is what it was, for Mount St. Helens. Uh, we drove up towards Lava Canyon. We're about two miles away from the Marble Mountain parking lot, down some road. I don't think it's even marked. It looks like an old logging road. And we probably drove two miles down it and had to clear some brush out of the way and found this little uh, camping spot right here. And Willow's setting up, looks like people have been here before. Willow's setting up the uh, the tent. She likes to, she likes to set up the tent. So we're going to set up the tent. And it's about 3.30 in the afternoon, and I don't know what we're going to do after that. So, so I'm just going to leave this as like our stepping stone pad. We don't need it underneath the tent. Why? Enough ground cover here. Fine. So you like pokey things in the back? Yep, that's all for you. you no, I don't like the pokey things in the back. There's a... Uh, so this tree was in our way. We hacked it up and pulled it to the side. And then I threw another one down the ravine here. This one right here. I threw it down the ravine. So had to clear a little brush. There's some sort of a stream down at the bottom there. We're going to camp for the night, go for a run in the morning, and then pack everything up and head home. So Baja did great. Just a small bit of off-roading we had to do to get back here. It was pretty muddy and rocky. Just went really, really slow. And everything was fine. So, anyhow, we're going to get set up, get camp set up, and that'll be it. All right, bye bye. It's getting pretty dark, but there's some sort of a fire happening. I'm not sure. Yeah, some sort of a fire. Forgot to take the camera with to get a good picture of Mount St. Helens. It's blocked by trees right here. Kind of get a good idea. Yeah. It's getting pretty dark. We're going to test out the uh, light bars on the Baja here for. Everybody that's always interested in what kind of light output the light bars on the Baja have. So I got a 72 watt, 21 inch. Ooh, it's dark. Can't even see anything. Tough LED on the front there. And then the big boy up top. God, I can't remember the wattage on that. I want to say it's. 201 or something like that. It's made by OPT7. So once it gets absolutely dark in here and you can't see anything except maybe the campfire, then we'll turn them on and see how much the forest gets lit up. We'll be back with that in a little bit. All right. Here we are in the pitch black forest. You can see the campfire. Can't really see much else. Maybe see the sky a little bit. Sun is still not 100% down. And you can see the light in the tent maybe a little bit. So I'm going to turn some of the LED lights on the Baja on. And we'll see. We'll start with the ones that are on the rear. Cargo light. You can see the lens closes when I point directly at them because they're so bright. These are little, I think they're 28 watt Cree LEDs. And you can see they light up the camp area pretty good. Yeah, they, they work pretty good lighting up the camp area. So we got that. 
turn those off. And we'll turn the big bar up on top. So yeah, it's uh, bright is an understatement. It's uh, extremely bright. It pretty much lights up the whole forest. So, kind of give you an idea how bright they are. Stand in front. Well, I can't even look at it, but it uh, it is bright. And I'm going to turn the little 21 inch bar on here. I'll turn this one off. The rooftop one off. And then I got to turn the ignition on. And there's the 21 inch. It's good for uh, lighting up the road since it sits so. Duh. So a little bit lower, but uh, once again, this one's really bright too. If I put the camera right in front of it, the lens shuts, so see it shines pretty good just for the road. And then uh, I've got fog lights that are 72 watt LED. Turn those on. Turn this one off. And so the headlights and the fog lights have to be on at the same time. So you can see we do a pretty good job of lighting up stuff that's off to the side. And the headlights are JDM. HIDs. So, it just gives you kind of a general overview of all the lighting. I suppose I could turn everything on at once and show you that. So, cargo lamp, rooftop, and mid. So, there you go. It's just uh, camera lens shots. It's so bright. It's actually lighting up more than what you can see on the camera here, but the lens will close because uh, it's just too bright. Let's see if I can get a shot of the front here. Holy crap. Pretty bright. Woo! Alright. We got all kinds of ash blowing onto the car from the campfire. Turn all this stuff up. And of course the gauges. Those are red. STI. Pulled that out of my uh, 05 STI. Did the conversion. And yeah. That's it. Now it really is pitch dark. Can't see anything. Well, we just got done with a 11 mile run at altitude. Ran up to uh, June Lake and pretty much uphill the whole way and downhill the whole way back. Took forever to get up there in about 30 minutes to get back so that was kind of fun doing some stretching gonna have a little snack and head back to Portland